It's a llama. What's up, guys? Well, welcome back to episode four of the Let's Play, and it's about time we start with the kingdom. I'm not really sure what to call it. I basically want to make my whole entire base huge, so huge that it theme as a kingdom. And so I am going to start here with the fishing district. And yes, it is close to the ocean, so I might be able to put boats later on. So I started. The first thing I did was outline the place where I'm gonna put the lake. Obviously, a fishing district needs a huge lake. After all of that, I decided to dig out the first place where I'm gonna put the first buildings. Yes, there is going to be buildings at the side of it. It's going to look awesome as soon as we're done. I am going to dig down and put the water after I'm done with that whole thing. So it's not going to be full at the beginning. It's going to take some wh a while. And because every city needs a road, I have already designed one. This is the road. I am using materials that are easy to find for now. I think we already have a winner. Like, Corpse is so good, my guy. Look at this. Obviously, I'm, I'm going to need to improve it a bit, but I think this this design is the way we, we can go. I was thinking of going uh, more of a modern design, then I realized that's stupid. So I just decided to do this. And no, this is not the final detail. I am going to change a lot of it. Everything came together. I found a cobble, which I turned into smooth stone, dirt. All of those were in my chest. S to turn the cobble into smooth stone I had to make a contraption after doing all of that I realized that I didn't have any concrete so I went and looked for some gravel found it and turned the powder powdered concrete into concrete then which brings me to now we don't have any quartz and we need it now and also get some bone meal and I heard that one of the new biome spawns skeletons so yeah let's go kill ourselves some skeleton and hopefully get ourselves armor because my last armor burned it burned and it break okay i'm ready to go in the nether let's let's do this i'm ready to go uh okay uh, let me try to do this in third person Oh, okay. It's actually much better going in third person than in first person. Now, because I have obviously found this biome, don't say I cheated you. Uh, I also found a nether fortress in this direction. Right here. Ah, uh, fish. I forgot the bow and arrow. I'll be back. Okay, it took a while, but now I have this bow and arrow and it has infinite infinity but doesn't have mending so yeah i have to be careful and also curse of vanishing yeah if we die this thing is poof gone it's poof gone and yes i was fighting up some skeletons in the overworld and i got 10 bones of that well that was close Oh my gosh, is that what I think it is? Oh, okay, let me get let me get myself some, some of that action. Wow, it's my... Oh, I'm not bad at doing this. There's a lot of skeletons in this biome. Wow. Oh, Enderman also spawn in here? What up, my homie? Oh, oh what, what the frick? Oh no. Wow, that's, that is one strong animal. Wait, I have gold on, do I? Yes. Ah, frick, I don't have a bar of gold with me. There's some more right over there. Ah, frick, I gasp. Yeet. Wow, it's quite hard to find it in this update. Jeez, man, you booty cheeks in me. Okay, I have managed to collect a stack and nearly a stack and 33 quarts 
and a lot of bones. Okay, as you guys can see, I am wearing some uh, still beginner level armor. Let's change that up a bit and go all the way to the Neverite. It took me an hour and a half to collect enough ancient debris, but we did it and we got a full armor of it and that. Uh, thank you guys for watching and I wish you guys a good year.